did you just replace your smoke detector batteries and it's still beeping so annoying i know you want to smash it with a hammer i'm going to show you what's going on and stick around for more smoke detector tips now everybody's had to replace smoke detector batteries before what's going on if your smoke detector is still chiming or beeping after you replace the batteries it's simply telling you that it has expired the manufacturers make these with a 10-year life cycle so after 10 years the inside circuitry is considered not reliable so they will continue to beep to tell you to throw them away and replace them for your family's safety but if you turn a smoke detector over pull it off of the ceiling and look underneath they actually will show you the data manufacturer on there so right here it's june of 2024 so the manufacturers are date stamping the back of all smoke detectors so you know when that 10 years has expired or you just want to check on their current age now when you're picking out a new smoke detector you're going to have two broad categories you're going to have battery powered and hardwired they both work the same way they both will protect your family however battery power is an easy do-it-yourself option when you don't want to worry about the location of wiring in your house and wired is for newer homes that already have the wired locations typically in ceilings ready to go a wired smoke detector connection will come with a wiring harness something like this and you'll connect it to the house's existing wiring the black is the hot the white is the neutral and this red or traveler wire will also signal additional smoke detectors in the house so if one goes off they all go off i'll cover this more in a little bit kitty has been making smoke detectors for years and years if you want to see what the current pricing is check the link in the video description down below new smoke detectors will come with a protective cover of, so, of some type you do want to keep them on if you're remodeling new construction painting anything really dusty keep that on until you're ready to use it now when you're installing your new smoke detector the modern code is every bedroom and every level of the house so you do want to try to stick to that never install a smoke detector in a kitchen or bathroom the high humidity and false positives will be a problem they simply screw onto the provided mounting plate really easy now in the smoke detector little box they will come with two screws and the hollow core anchors that means you don't have to look for a stud you can install them anywhere you want now you can install them anywhere on the ceiling keeping in mind if you're choosing to install it in a wall we're going to use this demonstration wall here for the video you don't want to install lower than 12 inches or one foot from the ceiling so you do want them up high okay again with the hollow core anchors you don't have to worry about uh, stud locations or anything like that simply mark the holes with anything a pencil a mark or a screwdriver in this case we're going to use a screwdriver at this point normally you would pre-drill the little holes before the hollow core anchors go in but i'm going to give you a tip here say you're looking around and can't find your cordless drill or can't find an appropriate size drill bit i bet you can find a nail find a nail give it a tiny little tap so you just want to get the hole in there at your pre-marked locations and just pull that right out so what you've done is the same thing as a drill and you didn't have to source and run around your house looking for all the missing pieces all right with those hollow core anchors you're just going to tap them right in they go near flush now all that happens here is when you're screwing into those hollow core anchors that red little anchor or whatever color it is for you will simply expand and lock itself very firmly into your drywall and they are very uh, strong they will hold quite a bit and the number two phillips screwdriver will work here and you just want to snug them up now in this case the batteries were included and you're simply going to pull that out and that tab breaks the contact and it activates your smoke detector as a licensed contractor and home inspector i've been in tens of thousands of homes i'll give you a tip if you're looking up at your ceiling and your smoke detector plastic has turned yellow all shades of yellow it's well over 10 years old time to replace it okay with the battery activated we're ready to go you're simply just going to insert and twist it to the right and it's locked in place and you're good to go for many many years now i do want to give you a tip on hardwired smoke detectors so let's go upstairs for that a tip on hardwired smoke detectors i've seen homeowners make this mistake a lot never replace a battery operated smoke detector over the wiring of a hardwired smoke detector the problem with that is you violated code the building code when that house was manufactured required for that location to be a hardwired smoke detector so you must stay with that configuration replace it with a wired smoke detector 
Now, battery smoke detectors, you can install as many of them as you want, but these locations need to stay wired. When you're swapping them out, if you pick the same brand or similar brand, the connections will be plug and play. But if you have a different brand, you will pull that harness down and rewire the three connections. It's really simple, black to black, white to white, and the red traveler will be the connecting wire to have them all interlinked together throughout your house. I hope this has demystified a little bit about smoke detectors, their proper use and locations. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever in the comments down below. Hey guys, I know you can do this yourself.